So, quickly moving to the next um, drug which we'll be talking about is pharmacology. Um, this is what is known as what? Diiodohydroxyquinolone. Okay? Sorry. Diiodohydroxyquinoline, brother. So, for this, uh, diiodohydroxyquinoline, see, uh, see how the structure actually looks like. Idometrol. Right? So, it's also known as what? Iodoquinol. Iodoquinol, rather. So, it's a luminal amoebicide. It's used primarily for the treatment of what? Intestinal amoebiasis caused by what? Entamoeba histolytica. Okay. So, um, it is poorly absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. Alright, so it's now stay in the gastrointestinal tract and help it to target um tag all those uh, anti-mobile histolytica. So um basically it works by what chelation of ferrous ion and the ferrous ion is now crucial for the organism to keep growing, you know. So mechanism of action, it chelates metal ions disrupting essential enzymatic uh, functions in the intermobile histolytica. So it targets both the cyst and trophozoid uh, stages. All right. So it's now localized in the intestinal lumen. So it enhances zinc absorption. Okay. So it has been studied to be able to be used for uh, that's like zinc deficiencies or disorders. Indications: intestinal amoebiasis, also investigated for neurodegenerative diseases due to its uh, metal chelating properties. Adverse effects is gastrointestinal disturbances, lyodism, and nausea, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort. The neurological effects like dizziness, headache, and ataxia. They can have some skin problems like what? Urticaria and uh, pruritus.